Jamal Nayaz here with Josh Warrington. Massively dangerous fight coming up on Saturday. What, what a year you've had so far, though, recovering from that broken jaw in the way that you did to defeat Kiko Martinez. You like the dangerous fights, you like the firefights here in Leeds, don't you, Josh? There's only going to be tough fights at this level, you know, no matter who you're going in against. There's always hard fights. You're never going to get any gimmick fights, any walkovers. Um, obviously, being thrown this straight away is my, is my, is my, my uh, manager challenge, so I have to take it. Um, yeah, especially coming back from the broken job, but it just is. You know, get through this one, and I'm looking at finding another champion. So all I want to do is be in the big contest. I know it gets me back up and it gets me fully focused. There's such exciting fights out for you there. Obviously, the Lara fight's always going to get talked about, and he said some pretty disrespectful things about you, hasn't he? He says he wants to retire you. Obviously, Conlon, I've spoke to Eddie Hearn about that. Conlon isn't really on your radar, but that's a fight that always could be there, and obviously Lee Wood as well. Um, unfinished business with Lara, and I know that you said a few months ago that you weren't very happy with how the DAZN documentary was presented. You you want that fight. You you weren't happy with the way how it ended last time and you want fans to know that that's something that you still want. Yeah, most definitely. A lot of people said to me, oh, you don't need him, he's your boogeyman and stuff like that. No, I feel like the, 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 the way that the, the second fight were going, we're all going in my hands. Yeah, an accident or clash of head happens. He can say whatever the fuck he wants. You know, they, he said to have disrespected his family and stuff like that. He's just, I don't know, he's fucking blowing smoke up his own backside. It, trying to make some of an alt. Um, I'd like to put that to bed. He's the only man who's, who's uh, managed to beat me. Now, obviously, I a draw as well. I'd just like to put it to bed, but he's not the only man. You know, there's, I want to I unify. I know there's Navanetti, there's Ray Vargas, there's Leo Santa Cruz still. So, um, you know, there's loads of fights, but I've just got to focus on Saturday and get that one. Obviously, America as well. You've got so many options at your disposal now, obviously. Get through Saturday, like you mentioned, but... Ideal role map, would, would that be the America fight, then come back for a stadium fight with someone like Lee Wood, potentially Conlon? Have you, have you got a road map in your mind of where you'd want to go? I've got a road map. I've got to see what's on the table first, what's going to present uh, the biggest opportunity for me. I'd, like I said, I'd love to go away. If we can get that ticked off, that'd be nice. So you win another belt, that'd be nice. Um, and then just take it from there. You know, opportunities ever come in this sport, uh, things change constantly as well. So I've just got to keep my options open, but first and foremost, let's focus on Saturday. You, and it's really clear from a fighter's perspective that adversity makes a fighter stronger in, in every way possible. And the adversity that you faced last year and this year that we mentioned the Kiko, Kiko Martinez fight, how proud are you of yourself to come through that and even fight this year? Because that might have seemed out the question immediately after that Martinez fight, to come back and defend Christmas time in Leeds, giving the fans a lot to cheer about. Yeah, it's, it's part of the sport, isn't it? You know, some people think that you're finished after after one loss or an injury or whatever, but it's just part of parcel. You know, I've been to this spot a long time, but it's put my body through the mill a fair few number of years now, so things are going to happen. But um, like I say, it's how you bounce, bounce back, and I tell you what, it, may, it has a few more chapters to the book at the end. You like getting the Leeds boys involved in the entrance as well. Can you tell us what you've got planned for this Saturday? Yeah, I've got Crescento Somerville um, joining me on the ring walk. He's a bit of a man at the moment at the minute. For Leeds United, he's been on fire. Um, so, yeah, I'm sure he'll... Uh, he's excited to be coming along. And I'm sure he'll uh, ramp up the atmosphere a little bit more once he sees his face on stage. Top man, Josh. I appreciate your time, man. Best of luck on Saturday. Thank you.